Now it's time to celebrate a favorite Hawaii staple, Spam. The Hawaii Spam Jam is back and it's going down this weekend in a fashion we haven't experienced in a little while. And joining us this morning with all the spammy details is marketing director of the Waikiki Spam Jam, our friend Toby Tamaye. Good morning. Is he live Good in the morning, studio? Chris. How you doing, my man? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, Fantastic is how I'm feeling, <laughs> especially with this spread. So the Spam Jam is back. So what can people expect this year at the yeah, so this is the first time we're bringing back the block party after four years. Whoa, it's going to be this, four years. Yeah, wow. crazy. It's going to be this Saturday, four to ten o'clock on Kalakau Avenue. Same footprint from Seaside to Lilio Kalani Avenue. We have three entertainment stages, eighteen restaurants, a bunch of crafters. Um, we even have some surprises for people. So come on down. Oh, that's amazing. I'm getting just nostalgia in my brain from all the past ones. It's just so amazing. Such a great time. So, but uh, it's all about the food. It's all about the spam fusion mm. recipe. So, what are we gonna be tasting today. Yeah, so we today we brought down three of our vendors that are going to be at the festival this Saturday. Um, first of all, we have this uh, Korean cream cheese bread oh. with Spam. It's from Yomi's. Wow. Dude, this is going to be so good for people to walk around the festival. Oh, wow. And, yeah, and this bread that. just good by itself, but add some Spam. <laughs> What's that? Ube. Oh, yeah, oh, we also so have good. this... Uh, we have some skewers. It's some Mongolian spice skewers with spam and pork what? belly and asparagus. I've never heard of that before. It's, but it's it looks from Khan Skewer. Okay, wow. And then, of course, we have our famous, you know, uh, spam course. musubi. We got a oh, spam musubi got from L and L. So there'll be our exclusive spam musubi on this Saturday. Oh, that sounds so perfect. So I'm gonna try one of these. But while that's happening, can you tell me how do you keep the excitement going after the street festival is over, which is gonna be fantastic? Yeah. So one of the big things that happened over the pandemic is we decided to try to convert into a restaurant week format, which worked out really well for us. So this year we're going to be doing both the block party on Saturday and then after starting on Sunday the 30th until May 14th, we're doing 20 restaurants in Waikiki, a restaurant week promotion where you can go in and find unique spam goods there oh, for those two weeks. Great. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so I got the uh, I got the skewer. What is this, Mongolian? Mongolian spice okay. skewer with pork belly and spam. Oh, that sounds so good. I'm going to try I hope you like it. Mmm. <laughs> flavors, the spam. Mmm. It has a perfect, like, um, uh, texture to yeah. it because oh. of the way the, both of those combine. Yeah, and the spice is just perfect, mm. not too overpowering. Absolutely. Just beautiful. Just we have so much of these there. restaurants. So 18 of these restaurants are going to be serving up this Saturday. And again, if you miss it out, check out SpamJamHawaii.com. We have the list of the 20 restaurants participating in the uh, Canto Tables Restaurant Week. That's excellent. Happening this weekend, Ho'olaulea style over in Waikiki on Kalakaua. The Spam Jam is back after four years. I can't believe it. Toby Tamaye, you the man. Thank you Thank so you much Sonic. for everything you do, bringing it back to Waikiki and all the beautiful food all around <laughs> it. Thank you so much, my brother. Aloha. All See you guys right. this weekend. Oh, yeah. We'll be there. <laughs>